I'm just having the time of my life today, okay? Welcome back to my channel. I am Ona Olifant for those who don't know. Um, so today we have something a little bit different, a little bit more fun. So today's video is going to be a mukbang, 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 whatever. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today while we have a little bit of chit chat. So I'm going to be discussing a few topics that you guys um, suggested for me on Instagram. And as you guys can see, I have my food ready. And also please do give this video a big thumbs up so that I can know that you guys enjoy videos like this. So yeah guys, um, without further ado, let us get into the video. Okay, so let's get started. So today we're going to be having KFC. Um, you guys know that I love KFC. If you watch my vlogs, you know that this me and KFC we like this. So the first thing that I got, I got a a wrap, a twister. This is the sweet chili um, twister. I wish I could show you guys. I don't know how the hell am I going to do this, but that is how it looks. I've never tried that before, and then it came out with some chips, as you guys can see. And then my favorite favorite thing in the world, but they they look like, it looks like they were so stingy with the sauce this time. But anyway, um, this is just some dunked wings. I got four because I just realized that there's no need, absolutely no need for me to be getting ten dunked wings anymore. I don't know who I think I am. And then I also got um, chicken nuggets. I've never had the nuggets from KFC actually, so looking forward to tasting that. And then drinks, um, the meal came out with a Sprite. Me and Sprite will forever be together. And then I got my favorite as well, an Oreo Crusher. This is my absolute favorite, guys. So yeah, let me just open this up. Um, they gave me the paper straws and I hate these, so we're not going to be using none of that, okay? Um, I'm going to be using my own straw. This already has melted. KFC should do the right things and just sponsor me already because, wow. So, this is how my food is looking right now. Um, I have my wrap on a plate. So, with me personally, I don't like... Like, I can have the clack in my food, guys. Um... I'm a really, I'd say I'm a picky eater. So as you can see, no tomatoes, and I should have specified on the the order. So that's perfect. There's just cheese in there and the twister itself. So yeah, just a disclaimer: if you are somebody who does not like hearing people chew or you know anything like that, then this is not the video for you, darling. I'm so sorry, but this is a mukbang, mukbang, okay? So yeah, guys, um, I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to, to send me a few topic suggestions that you guys wanted me to discuss. And thank you so much to each and every one of you guys who um, sent through topics. I appreciate it. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this because I watch mukbangs and I'm just like, how do you guys manage to to eat while you talk because this looks difficult but anyway okay so the first topic is dating in your 20s so <laughs> so for me i met my boyfriend when i was in grade 11 um i was in high school so we started dating ever since i was in grade 11 so it's ever since high school and then i came to varsity and we were dating now i'm almost done with this nonsense of varsity Still dating. Um, it's gonna be five years this year. That's a lot of. That's a that's that's a that's a long ass time, guys. Do you guys know what five years is? Five years is a whole five year old toddler. That is my sister, my little sister's age. While well, she's turning six, but alive you know. So yeah, we've been dating ever since. Um, I feel like dating in your twenties it can be really exciting. It depends on what you make out of it. Uh, a lot of people choose you know <laughs> the other route the promiscuous route and then there's people who want to be in relationships so it can be 
people tend to say that it can be liberating for each person or whatever choice you make but i feel like um dating in your 20s is so much more exciting compared to the experience that you might have had in high school because in high school i feel like we were so restricted a lot of our parents didn't want us doing certain things or going certain places you had a curfew so now a lot of people are becoming independent people are now in varsity people are working so with me my parents were so strict in high school um i remember i was dating in high school but they never wanted to hear any of it next curfews you have to be home at this time they don't care what what the hell you're doing what you're doing at the mall you better be home so when i started dating my boyfriend they just became a little more relaxed and i guess they just realized that i'm growing up and they just started easing down so now it's so so much better i think also because they know who i'm with and where i'm going and they know him so it's just so much easier now in terms of my freedom as well my space i feel like you know for a lot of people like your early 20s is so much fun people are having the time of their life but you know a lot is going on and then also i feel like dating in your 20s comes a little bit with some pressure because your 20s is the time that while you're late 20s or mid 20s for some people even um it's time for you to actually choose like your life partner you need to know by a certain age like okay this is the person that i want to spend my, the rest of my life with which is scary so it just comes with a lot of pressure the responsibility as well that comes with dating guys it's a lot because you can't just think about yourself especially when you're in a serious relationship now you you can't you can't be doing things as if you're single you know so dating in your 20s i feel like dating in your 20s can be very very tricky it's because a lot of people are afraid of commitment people just want to play around so it's just it's, it's just a lot you know uh, oh yeah let me try this wrap i hope i took out all the tomatoes It's good. Okay, so the next topic I want to touch on is body positivity and just self confidence in general. So, with me, from my experience, I it took me like it took a long time to to get to where i am right now to the place that i am like fully confident fully accepting my body as it is um so when i was growing up i was really like tiny petite and then i think in high school maybe grade grade 11 10 the body started like you know forming some curves and everything so obviously my weight gain and stuff so i was just like oh my gosh what is this you know what is this child? I'm not used to this. What is happening? Um, also, that time I started taking contraceptives. So, it was a lot. Okay. But then, for me, um, genes also play a role. I feel like a lot of people forget that your genes also play a role in your your body image and your size and everything. Um, so, people tend to forget that. And with me, I know. I personally, I know that my genes... 100 percent okay so um yeah it was very it took a long time because i used to like my weight used to fluctuate like it used to be on and off i would gain weight lose weight gain weight lose weight and especially when like my weight like i started picking up weight i would by all means like i'm gonna lose weight start gymming everything you know drastic stuff and whereas now now i fully accepted my body i'm happy with my body i'm comfortable with my body even though it took so many years um i even start wearing shorts now in public guys that never used to ever be me me shorts never so now i got myself a pair of shorts and now i wear shorts in public okay because why not i can you know so I just feel more confident and I honestly don't care what people are going to say. That um, Batavatarang syndrome, not me, not me guys, count me out. So I feel like also a lot of people 
have influence on why certain people don't have like confidence in their bodies and are like insecure about their bodies because people like to body shame okay and you guys need to stop body shaming people so with me um when was it i think it was last month so somebody on instagram thought that it was just you know it was just okay so i posted um a little video of me dancing where well, it wasn't a full video just a hot video and baby girl just did me and she was like you're fat and i was like what in the world me fat no never that so i don't know if she thought that that would like get me down or ruin my day and it didn't i am so proud of myself that i didn't let that get to me um if it was me from like two years ago I w- i'm sure i would have cried um from that dm my day would have been ruined but never that um yeah so now i can like i know i know that i'm not fat i know who i am i know my body i understand my body um even more so self-confidence body confidence is a journey guys it's not something that happens overnight like it took me years for example to start wearing shorts in public so it's not something that's gonna happen overnight i really want to taste these dumplings they look so dry today oh my goodness like mm-mm. they were stingy with this sauce of these let's dig in <laughs> i'm just having the time of my life today okay Mm. so yeah as i was saying it's a journey it's not something that happens overnight it takes time so if you are somebody that is struggling with um your self-confidence in your body all i can say is take time to understand your body um what looks good on you what your body likes um i also found that like taking care of my body has helped me so much in terms of like self-care whether it's investing in a good like body scrub investing in a good body lotion perfume you know stuff like that just to make yourself feel good i promise that that will like it will make a difference and you will feel so much more confident i honestly don't think i'm gonna finish this food guys i'm really like I'm already feeling full and I like look at this wrap. I haven't even like oh my goodness. So the next topic is maintaining relationships, whether it be relationships with your friends, relationships with your family, relationships with your partner. Um especially at the age um like the 20s, relationships just become a lot they they evolve as well it's not like what they used to be in high school um with me in high school obviously in high school your friends used to see them every single day talk to them every single day so yeah also staying with your parents now there's a thing you have to maintain those relationships relationships with your friends um especially now with the pandemic we can't even see each other as much as we want to so how do we maintain those relationships now? With me and my friends, it's not a thing how we have to speak every single day. No, that's not the type of friendship that we have. I am not the person or the friend that talks to you every single day, calls you every single day. No, because I understand that I have a life and my friends also have lives. They go, they also have to go about their day-to-day businesses and their day-to-day lives. Um, the only person that I can say I talk to every single day is my mom. <laughs> my mom, that's just how close we are. She calls me every single day, like literally every single day. So that's different. So and it's not even like a whole full blown conversation. I was on the phone. No, it's just like how are you doing today? Blah blah blah. You know. So with friends, we can literally not talk for weeks. I mean, not weeks but for days it just makes it even like so much more better like when you guys haven't seen each other for so long because if we're talking every single day oh you're my friend this and this happened today tomorrow oh my gosh today this happened the next day oh my gosh this happened when you guys meet up what are you guys gonna talk about huh what are you guys gonna talk about please tell me 
so i feel like you know it just makes it so much worthwhile when you guys meet up and you haven't seen each other and it's just like a whole catch-up session it's so much fun talk about so many things that you know have been going on in your lives so and then in terms of relationships okay how do i maintain my relationship so i am a very why what do they call it love languages okay so if you don't know what love languages are please google it um so my love language personally is quality time uh quality time what else i think acts of service as well and physical physical touch or physical affection i don't know but yeah i love spending quality time with my partner I love hugs, kisses, you know, everything like that. I love showing affection. I'm a very affectionate person, whether it's friends, family, I love giving hugs and you know, that's just how I am. So quality time for me, that's my love language. So I think that's how I maintain my relationship. Um, for me, my love language, like not what I receive, but what I give out. I love um, spending time with people, I love doing things with people, I love getting things with people, you know, it's just it's just so like nice for me, I really enjoy that. So <laughs> oh my gosh, yo Bazalwan Mina Ngisuti I am so full. Is that even the right word? <laughs> Comment down below in the comments if I said it properly. But anyway, guys, yo, I am so full. Basal wine. I am very, very full. I still have half a wrap. Is this not even, it's not even half. Guys, KFC, your KFC will make you full. That's why I was saying to you guys, like, that's why I don't get 10 done doing because I realized that that, that is insane of me to do. That is some crazy you know but yeah guys um that is the end of this mukbang i hope you guys enjoyed the mukbang i hope you guys enjoyed the little chit chat that we had um also please do let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this from me and i will give the people what they want period okay i really enjoyed this this was something different this was something fun i hope you guys enjoyed it too and thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video Bye. It's a rap. You don't know it. You don't know that it's a rap. It's a rap. <laughs> How don't you know it, bruh? That's all I got my 28th. 1990, you my family had the actor. Oh.